It's the discretion to determine who is a flight risk and who is a you know, potential danger to the rest of the population of the prison. So I'd be very surprised if that would succeed. But I'll, I'll defer to the other lawyers on the line here who may know more, more about it than I do. I think the most important thing probably is prominent people contacting the the warden right. mm -hmm. and urging him, giving him a reason to to think about it and to change his mind about it. Mm -hmm. uh, because in doing that, you're both you're speaking favorably about the character of Shukri, and you're also uh, encouraging the warden to rethink. What, what he's doing. I mean, sure, he's been there a long time. He's been a model inmate. So it's pretty hard to continue making the case that he ought to be where he is. And if he was not a Palestinian uh, who is involved, uh, what was accused of being involved in an international matter, uh, he's, he was not involved in anything but helping people, but that's what he's accused of. If it wasn't for that, he, he wouldn't be in maximum security part of Beaumont. So, go ahead. I think contact, prominent people contacting the warden is probably the best thing. Prominent people prominent contacting people. the warden. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. But I think a prominent person can be any of us, by the way. I don't want to let's I wanna, bring that word down to all of us. Well, I agree with that. I was just thinking of folks that already turn his head. You know, he's used to getting letters, but, but I certainly agree with that. Yeah. I was curious what we know about the warden, and because if I was a warden, I was sadistic, I, and I have a model prisoner, I wouldn't want to let him go. It's nice for me. Like, what's, <laughs> what's my what's my incentive to move him to a different prison? Do we know that? Is he sadistic? Like, I mean, you don't even have to be sadistic. You just want to keep your job. You're a government employee. Like, what's your